It's Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com, and today we're going to talk about those engine train wrecks. And you know who I'm talking about. It's Galleran Molis again. Um, look, I know a lot of you guys love them, and I'm sure they're very awesome, dynamic people, but I feel like however this works with Invisalign, they're getting greedy because the treatment plans are not only just bad, which I've been saying for years, but they're now just dangerous, like scary dangerous. Yes, this is my opinion only and the opinion of myself, but it's also the opinion of quite a few doctors because more and more as they do more volume, um, I'm seeing these treatment plans and they're doing it with the not the traditional engine. You know when you submit a case and you have a choice of minimum or traditional? Um, I believe, this is my understanding, that gal, this is what I've been told, but it doesn't mean it's verified by Invisalign. So if anything I'm saying here is wrong, I, I can give my opinion and say it's bad because it totally is bad. I'm gonna tell you some of the stuff I've seen and you guys will agree it's bad. But I feel like a computer is doing this because it's just, there's no way a human. I've never seen anything as bad as what I've seen in the last month. Over my last 20 years of Invisalign, the sheer just below standard of care to the X degree is just terrible. So I saw one, it's almost comical because I'm just thankful the doctors that I know are catching this stuff and they're running it by me and they're laughing too going, I'm not doing these engines anymore. They are screwing up my cases. It's taking me more work to fix them than this time it's supposed to save me. So I saw one last week, it was almost funny. Okay, picture this, uh, tooth number 11 or six, I can't remember which one, I think it was 11, upper left canine, okay? Um, so for those of you who are in other countries, it would be a two, three or 23. Um, it was maybe like 40 degrees rotated. Okay. I don't remember if it was, uh, you know, clockwise, counterclockwise, mesial out, mesial in. I don't remember. Instead of just making space and straightening it, they rotated the darn thing 207. Oh, wait, did I say 40 degrees rotated? Let me get it, get it, get it around. It maybe more like. 70 degrees rotated. I mean, it was pretty rotated. It was almost at a right angle. They rotated it 270 degrees around. Instead of putting back where it's supposed to go, just rotating it back 70 degrees, they did the other direction. They almost went the full spin. They spun the whole tooth and they made the darn tooth backwards. It was hilarious. <laughs> Me and the doctor are looking at this case going, oh, come on. There's no way someone thought this was okay. But anyways, uh, it just blows my mind how bad this is, and I, I hope they shut this junk down. I mean, it's just wrong what's happening. But anyways, you guys need to run your cases by not a computer, but a human. And I don't know what's going on with Invisalign, Galler, and Mullis, but it's bad, bad, bad. And I'm going to keep trumpeting that it's bad because I know patients are going to be damaged. If you guys hate DTC aligners, this is a bazillion times worse in my opinion. I'm sorry it needs to be stopped. All right, thanks so much.